Okay, so earlier I had posted and that I had uh, ganged my Louisiana Grills pellet grill to my vertical smoker. Before I had it plumbed straight in, it would get a little hot. Part of the problem was I had a bad control board. So first, I put in a T with an elbow. I also put a cap. What I can do with this cap to adjust the temp going into that vertical smoker is do something like this. It actually works very well. Then I put the original water pan up here and an additional down there. That way when I fill them, I have plenty of moisture going in here, keeping things cool. I've cleaned up the racks. And this is for my extreme low temperature cheese. So, that worked out great. Uh, I could actually go buy another one of these grates and do even better. Now, over here to the Louisiana Grills. Had an issue with the control board, not maintained the temp. Call Louisiana Grills, great customer service but they want $180 for their generation 4 control board. I don't need all the Wi-Fi features and all that. Did my research and found out the generation 2 will replace the generation 3 board. So, my father ordered one up and sent it to me for my birthday, which is next month. But, hooked it all up yesterday. Boom. Worked like a charm save yourself 175 dollars or so buy it on ebay for 50. now so you can see these shiny spots well what i tend to do is i treat all my cooking stuff like this with good old-fashioned pam Keep, helps with the rust and everything now as you see here you can see a shiny deal of Pam and not so much over here well that's because right about here I start getting a cold spot could it be from it venting that way possibly so what I've done is put a baffle from the original smoker so I doubt it's that now here is the original adjustable plate let me get my screwdriver and you can adjust it for the bro broiler feature now i'm not going to use it too much for broiling originally it calls for it being over here as you can see as I was cooking, this was getting extremely hot, but this was, you know, half the grill was staying cool toward this side. So what I'm hoping that I can do is, with this completely closed, and then if I want to crank up a little more heat on this end, I can just slide this over and get my heat here and more evenly distributed. So right now, I've already test ran this, but I want to get it nice and cleaned up for tomorrow's uh, brisket, chicken, and cheese smoke. Again, if you have a Generation 3 board that is acting up, do yourself a favor. The one that I got in had the new inter internal temperature probe, a new meat probe, and the board and wiring harness. I think my dad paid like 50 something dollars. Try that first. Anyways, thank you all.